Hello everyone, welcome back to Story Behind the Story. I'm Courtney Rowe, and today I'm joined again by Samantha, who just did a story on Northwest's mental health activist group here on campus. And I just wanna know what exactly Active Minds, the group, what they are or who they are. So they're kind of a restructure and rebrand of the group that used to be known as To Write Love on Her Arms. And so they're a group that focuses on talking about mental health, decreasing the stigma surrounding mental health, working with the Wellness Center and Student Affairs to work on their their programs to help students with uh, mental health issues and coping with the whole overwhelming college yes. experience. Yes, I know mental health um, and just like mental health issues are such a common thing mm -hmm. in our student body and just everywhere. Yeah. Um, it's really awesome that we have people like Kayla and Caleb who are so willing to put their stories out there mm -hmm. and create a safe environment for people to come and speak about their mental health issues, uh, so to speak. So I want to know, you got to hear these stories personally, sitting down with them face to face. I want to know what that experience was like. It was really emotional for me. You know, as a journalist, people open up to me a lot and I'm always pleasantly surprised by how much they're willing to tell me about their lives. And so it was really moving to hear their personal perspectives on why they feel so passionately about mental health and helping other students. It just really puts more behind the name and the face and it makes me feel so much more connected with those groups on campus. At the end of the day, this is something that, that affects so many people and it's all about opening up and having a mature conversation about it, which is exactly what Active Minds goal is. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanna know something a little bit more personal. Uh, what do you think would be one of the best methods for maybe making this a more conversational topic and allowing people to feel safer speaking about it? I think one of the big things, especially on an, on an individual level, is when people tell you about their experiences with mental health or depression or oftentimes when people deal with suicidal thoughts or attempting suicide or being hospitalized, that carries a lot of judgment. And I think yes. if people work really hard on their in their personal lives to not bring that judgment into those yes. conversations and to be understanding and to know that people, everybody experiences hard times and everybody can grow out of those and have more positive experiences afterwards and that doesn't define them. I think that really helps those people feel more safe and more comfortable in their relationships and more confident in moving forward in dealing with their issues in the future. I'm so glad that you were able to give them this platform to speak out about what they believe in and just shed this light on them. Seriously, if mental health is something that you are super passionate about and you want to advocate, um, I highly suggest looking into this group because what they stand for is incredible. It definitely resonates with me and a lot of people here on this campus. And if you're someone that is personally struggling with mental health issues, there are so many resources here on this campus to help you. So please be sure to look into that. Um, there's always going to be people out there to give you help. So to kind of close things off, um, what should we expect from you and for next week's story? So I have a story coming up next week that kind of sounds boring on the surface, but I have really loved doing interviews for it. Um, it's about, there's a group of students who, there's a nationally funded research grant through uh, the physics department, and they get to co-author and sometimes be the lead author on research papers, which really helps them out both in their learning experience and in future growth into grad school or getting jobs. And so talking to those students about doing this really high level professional research that's getting published in major publications and how much they learn and grow from that, that has been a really interesting experience that's, for me. That sounds awesome. I always look forward to reading your stories. They never fail to amaze me. So thank you so much for joining me on Story Behind the Story. Thank you for having me. Yeah. See you guys next time.